start celebrating the fact that we've got cellulite, that, you know, that we've got stretch marks, that we wobble, why can't our children see that? Why can't our children be so proud of the fact that mummy doesn't look like Victoria's Secret model? And, you know, you see them and they have their babies and then two weeks later they're strutting their stuff in a bikini and, and it's the young girls that are looking at those images and then going, oh, well, I'm 16, that's what I'm going to look like. And then when I'm 25, I'll look like that. Actually, that takes a whole team of people to create that look. Aggie, we, we want young people, <laughs> young women and men to have, uh, boys and girls to have body confidence, to be confident in who they are, yeah. not be looking at social media and panicking because they don't look quite like that. But your feeling well, is... Well, I think that um, it's fine for parents to wander around undressed until a child's about three years of age. Ah, and three. I think beyond three. that... Yeah, because I think it's... it's um, it's, it's a tricky relationship between boys and their mothers. And I think well, that's once, because you're sexualizing once a boy, it. That's because... once, a boy get, but once a boy gets to puberty, he is sexualized. And I think that. It won't get to puberty until a lot later than three. That's right. Yeah, no, that's I mean... right. no, I'm talking about seven, eight, nine, ten. And I think it's very confusing for a child to be seeing, to be seeing the mother's naked body and thinking about that. and... Uh, you know, think about the Oedipus complex and... and but, if about... you, but if you were to let, then look at that child, let's say, who is only... The, the only example they have is a magazine cover of no, someone no, no. who is highly... No, because let me just... Let me make my point. The whole point is, is that person, that, that child, that boy, especially boys, because I'm a mum of boys, so mm. I, it's really, really important for me that when my boys get to an age where they're, I don't know... Yeah. ..a respectable age where they're meant to be in front of another female. Mm. I don't want that female to take their clothes off and for them to go, oh, that's, that's you not don't... Life, though. Things that... don't just happen like that. But, but they do, because and... do you know how many boys actually get to an age where, where they are sexually active and they look at the, the female that's in front of them and they go, but you don't look like what I see on the internet because then the only example well, they have... they have to learn what real life's like, won't they? But why do they have to learn when they could just because be proud from the get-go of, OK, this is actually what my mum looks like. Boys can be looking at your Instagram page. They don't need to have their mothers in. Um, but why is it then someone around. else's responsibility to educate that child? Why can it not be the responsibility of the mum, of the dad one in of the well, I think one of the nervous I... things, I think one of the feelings you get is that I've got two boys as well and they've yeah. gone all the way through, they're 12 and 14 now, and my, my eldest son is bigger and taller than me and mm. stronger than me and, 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 and all sorts, and it, that drives me mad. But I think that the thing that, that, that I, we've never wanted is them to sort of feel there's a sense of shame about being naked. Yeah. Uh, it, I've been, I have friends that live in America, and if, you, if our kids used to run around in the, in the summer in a paddling pool, in the sprinklers, run around naked and no-one bat an eyelid. If you do it in America, it's a really frowned-upon thing to yes. see small children running around. And it's really odd, cos it feels like there's a sense of shame in mm. about the kids okay, not that, being naked. That, that's America. That's We're the, talking but no, but about that's the, UK. But that's yeah. the worry, though, Aggie, isn't it? Encouraging that's encouraging them to be more body confident. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's the worry, that if you say, after you're three years old, Old, as a parent, you shouldn't be naked in front of your child. That's suggesting there might be something no, I think, about I that. I think that the lead should come from the child. I think that if you're a parent who you want to impose this on your child, I think that's absolutely wrong. I think that... Um, it's only wrong if you put it in a way that makes them feel like they have no yeah. other choice. But, well, but children, children don't have a choice. If, the, the, the children point do for not me, have a choice. Child, they, do ha they do have a choice. Because because no, they don't. Say, I, I don't feel comfortable. Or, oh, Mum, you're embarrassing me. That's Would a conversation. Stop? And that's the wonderful thing about the relationship I have with my children, with both of my sons. You know, one of my sons is almost nine. And I actually asked him, I said, coming on today, I said, mm. how do you feel about seeing Mummy and Daddy naked in the house? And he said, I think it's cool. Like, that's his thought process at the moment. But when he yeah. gets to an age where he was to turn around and go, uh, Mum, my friends are coming around to play PlayStation, can you please put your bangers away? <laughs> I'm obviously not going to actually stand there and be like, oh, yeah, all right, son, don't worry, I'm just going to cook a lasagna with my boobs out. Do you know what I mean? So, for, from my point of view, it's a conversation you've got to have. And if my children got to that point where they said, this is just... This is making us feel awkward. I know they're comfortable enough to do that with me mm. because we have a very open yeah, relationship. It's, it's, nonetheless, it's still your wish being imposed on your children. But then would you not say the same about certain situations, about beliefs that you have? Well, Let's you could... say that you are, uh, you are religious and then would you not say that you're imposing your religious opinion on, on your child? You're raising your children to be... I am raising my children to be good human beings who have good values, who support 
and well, encourage people. Why don't you people... take it to the extreme and just, um, you know, have a poo in front of your kids? Oh. You know, what's the? Oh, I absolutely. Escalated. You have not <laughs> lived. You have not lived if you have not had a child walk through the the bathroom door as you're sat naked on a toilet. Why don't you lock the door? Mom, because you're yeah. inviting the child in. No, I'm not inviting the child in. But if my children are in in a home where I am the parent because my husband is at work, then from a safety point of view, absolutely, I'm not going to lock the door. A nine-year-old child doesn't need to have. But a, uh, what, Aggie, why Aggie, not? Aggie, Aggie, a nine-year-old child probably wouldn't. But a three, four, five-year-old child, there's every chance they will. Child. We'll walk in with a book to show you. We'll walk in as absolutely. as we were saying yeah, with a bit of leather. The conversation just goes. Fine. I just think. But that... I've got a four-year-old. So yes, are you saying that he shouldn't see me naked? Once a child gets to pre-puberty or puberty, I think that's when the line is being crossed. But you've so you've just changed your mind, then. So you so think, that's so you think it is more acceptable well, children, until they're older? Children um, develop at different stages, and I think that... I think sort of three, three and a half is the cut-off point, actually. So it's not puberty, then? It's, it's, it's three, three and a half? But ch children become sexualised very early, don't they? But you shouldn't ever sexualise a parent being naked in front of their child. No, but there is... I'm not going out into a, the street to get milk from the local shop and there are there's lines, so that it's, there's a lot of confusion about, you know, women's bodies. The only confusion there is about women's bodies is today's social media, and, and it doesn't matter what I'm size you are, whether you are a size 6 or whether you are a size 46, so we are all beautiful. A 10-year-old boy, a 9-year-old boy, looking at a woman's body, they're not just looking at cellulite, they're looking at the genitals as well, and they need they're to work the physio out. Phys yeah, they They're understanding the physiology of it. They're understanding the physiology of it. I don't understand why that's a problem. Well, maybe it's going to interfere with their sexuality later on about how, how they that, feel how, how can that how can that interfere think, with their sexuality you know what i think if you make a, a woman's body completely acceptable and everything's fine how does that affect i mean that might have a negative effect on erotic desire later on for oh that child. no I, you know what that is the biggest concern with 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 this opinion is that you are sexualizing something that mm. is so natural and my body around but, my child is is never used in a sexual way. I'm it's not going saying to it the, is. I'm absolutely not saying bar. it is. What I'm saying is that a child, yeah. a, a boy who gets to that age of 9, 10, 11, is starting to become private as well. And but it, it, comes back, it comes back to that open conversation, doesn't it, of being able to open up that conversation saying, are you comfortable with this? Let's have a discussion about it. Do you know what? In my experience... In my experience of Michael, but in are my, you comfortable in, 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 in our experience yet? at our house, it gets to the point where the boys who would always shower with the door open and not have... They start locking the door because yeah. they start seeking their own their privacy. Decision. And that that's starts right. that's setting those boundaries. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I walk around naked now to annoy them, basically. <laughs> that's the easiest thing, because I'm a parent, so you're allowed to do that. I love the fact oh, that people here yeah, it keep is. it going for Omar's got in touch to say, uh, now, as a young 63-year-old, I've never shied away from being naked in front of my boys who are 28 and 24. Love it. God, there's no children. No. And, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, are, there any, are there any psychological studies that go to show that parents who are naked in front of their children in a very natural setting have ever been psychologically scarred? No. There isn't. There's well, a lot of evidence. They aren't then. No, no, does no. It? If uh, there's no evidence, doesn't mean say they aren't psychologists. Right. I have to say, there's a lot of people uh, agreeing uh, with you, Laura. Uh, to be honest, lots of people getting in touch saying we just think it's really normal that we're naked in front of our children. Andrew says exactly that. Becky says my son well, sees me. At the dining table my son well. sees me naked well, no, but, all the that time. That, 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 is, that isn't a natural. My thing, son is says it? my tummy looks like a sad face. He's such a confident Buddha. My kids see my stretch marks. This is Christy. My wobbly thighs all the time. They ask what the marks are from. They tell them. Bodies are amazing, you know, whether you're toned or whether you're not. I think what's worse is for a poor child, you know, to as you walk out the door and you see your kid there and you go, oh, I need to cover up! <laughs> and you, then you grab a towel and you throw it around yourself and you're like, don't look! No, uh, you know, that's more petrifying. That is, unquestionably, it is, it's certainly about that. I think the boundaries find themselves as they well, They do though. find themselves, it's uh, a natural We're going to have to leave it, unfortunately, although we could clearly talk about being naked. We could, we could. <laughs>